I'm joined today with the lovely Louise, who's one of part of our walking group, and this is stage one of the Swans. Um, I've got it completely wrong. Hello, it's Steve, and I'm joined with by Louise on stage one of the 22 Lakes and Pools Challenge. So we're starting in Lawley, and um, our fir we're going to our first pool, which is just going to come up very shortly. And our first leg is to climb from Lawley through Old Park and to Telford Town Park, where we'll meet up with some of the others. Um, and we're all doing this in aid of Cane Wildlife, who um, are very instrumental in the area of looking after our birds, swans and other sort of wildlife, crocodiles as well. Okay then, we've hit our first pool, which is Newdale Pool. Now this pool was built a long, long time before the, the village of uh, Lawley was built, this new kind of village. Um, and it was always the plan to build houses here. Well, it's now pool number one done and we are heading now up to Old Park so we've got a bit of a climb and we're going to follow the Reeking Way. Well, we're walking along Reeking Way now and this footpath sort of takes you to Old Park to the Reeking. So we're not too far away from our next pool, number two, and we're just coming into the area of Old Park. Now, Old Park's where my family are from, actually. My granddad had a scrapyard up here. Uh, Lou, Lou, Lou's, Lou's feeling it, I can tell. No, I'm only joking. I think it's because uh, we've had an uphill stretch there, and I was talking as well at the same time, so, you know, those two things don't need, don't need to mix when you need the gusto. Anyway... We'll be at the pool in a minute. Lovely village, Old Park, I might add. So Lou's just told me, Lou's just told me that she's never been down here. So this is the hidden pool at Old Park that a lot of people don't know about. Beautiful little location. Do you know what? Nice summer's day when it's you want to just escape from the rat race a little bit. This is where to come. There you go, that's pool two out of the way, Old Park Pool. Well, we're going on now. Our next one is the ornamental pool, that is, at Central Square. So me and Lou are just reaching the bridge here, which takes us over to Central Square, as it's called. Bit of story to this bridge. This bridge is actually made up of different parts of another bridge. So Thomas Telford built this bridge, um, the original bridge, in Coond in near near Shrewsbury. Um, however, the bits were stored for years and then later on TDC made it, made those pieces of iron into this bridge. Ah, oh, Lou, look at us. We've come today and they've not even got the fountain on, have they? Well, I think this is the most famous body of water in Telford. Everybody knows about Central Square. Now, this was built in 1989 to accompany this marvellous building here, New Town House, which was the home of Telford Development Corporation. Actually, I think it was built before. Sorry, I'm getting a bit... No, no, no. TDC wound up in 91, so I am right. So they didn't have a very big year there. But check it out. Look at Lou, just look at her, just on them steps. Like, she looked like a... No care in the world is the wither, that lady. No care in the world. Anyway... 
Apart from this green pea soup algae type floating on the top there and the occasional lily pad, it looks awful, doesn't it? But then this looks quite nice, doesn't it? I'll do the the old Telford thing, there we go. So we are now in South Water now and we should be able to meet up with the rest of the posse now on stage two. I don't think we leave here till half past anyway. I'm not quite sure, might do. Um, but anyway, this is where we're meeting. The lovely South Water. Well, we've got about a 15 minute break before we uh, meet the rest of the campers and uh, we'll go off onto stage two. So here is lake number four, Southwater Lake. This is a completely artificial lake. And we've got the people here now. We've got Glyn. We've got... Ian. Ian. I haven't seen him that long. I forgot his name. The lovely... Um, um, Kelly. Kelly. <laughs> Louise. Well, we know Louise from stage one. And the lovely Hannah. See, it's been a while since I've seen this lot, isn't it, really? Anyway, we're one down and we're one to go. So we're now heading to our next pool. This is number four. Keep You keep count for me. Is it four? Pool four. four, it is pool four, isn't it? So now we're going to pool five, which is next door. It's now we're with the Walk family again now. Oh, these are the bestest people you could go walking with. These are. These are the Walk family. family. Here we go. We have pool number five, which is called Spout Pool. And this, again, is another man-made pool in the town park. You can see the visitor centre over there. And the local, uh, local you can just see how beautiful it is here. You've got that little water feature there. <laughs> and the dug house. And this, uh, what do you call them? Sculpture. That's one of those magnetic trolleys. I bet it's an Asda one. So we're not far away. Our next pool is just through here. So this is number six coming up. The old Mannersley Chapel there, look. Originally on the site of the um, Telford Town Centre. So here we are now at pool number six, and this is Withley Pool. Now, this is where the, fab the fabled catfish lives in here, apparently. Um, but a lovely little pool, really. So we are now on the way to pool number pool number seven now, um, and that is Randley Pool. So we're going to head down that way. <laughs> so we're just crossing over the miniature golf course at uh, Tower Town Park, and it's actually a beautiful day today. It's it's quite um, what do you call it um, breezy today. A disc. 
golf course. This what? is a very puzzled eared look. I know it is. I've never seen one. Disc golf course. What's a disc golf course? Anybody looking, tell me what a disc golf course is. <laughs> Well here we go, we are at pool number seven which is Randley Pool and we are, you can, I don't think you can see it but you, it's, it's there, I might put a bit of drone footage in for you just to show we've been here. having some very heated conversations this morning about various different things I can't even concentrate on what what lake is what number but we are going to blue pool now so blue pool is number eight okay my team have left me they've left me now they're up they're over there look deck they are coming so here we go we are at pool number eight which is the beautiful glistening former clay pit which is blue pool or the clay pools whichever you might as just take a look how beautiful it is it's absolutely glistening today So we're now heading off for um, number nine, location number nine, um, part of this, so we're getting on. So in actual fact, that means once we, we're nearly to the halfway mark as well. So anyway, our next one is, um, is Sturchy Pools. So we are now going towards pool number nine. So we're actually now on our way to our next destination and this is Sturchy Pools and Sturchy Pools was actually built as a top up reservoir for the Shropshire Canal which is to the left of me. There's actually two pools here at Sturchley, one at the bottom and one at the top. So guys this is Fletcher's Pool and this is just a little sort of um, overflow reservoir in the town park it's one of probably the smallest pools we've got in Telford town park but uh, you can see but this is actually um, really its purpose is to basically take an over a once in a lifetime flood
So that's Fletcher's Pool done now and we are heading, it is 11, so we are now heading down to Grange Pools. steps we're now at the bottom um, where the Grange is and our next pool will be here um, Grange pool another man-made pool just looking at the Kelly from the back here look it's been very busy lately you know it's been on it's been she's been able to do some trumpeting yeah the finals she does she plays the she plays the Spanish horn <laughs> Anyway, we are here, look, Grange Pool. A little stream there, how nice is that look? Look at that. So here we go, guys. We have got Grange Pool here, which is in Sturchley. Sturch, sort of Sturchley village. So that was Grange Pool now, and now we're heading off to the Maybrook Pool. So we're now heading down Sturchley Road now to join up with the Maybrook set of pools. Um, and the Maybrook, interesting story. Here we are, we are at Maybrook Pools. Look at Hannah just having an adm admiration moment. Look at these lovely body waters. So these are actually, oh, there's a little swan hiding behind there. These are actually an original set of pools, these were. This is the actual part of the original Maybrook ter ter uh, tributary. Or pool. Oh, look what's coming up here to see me. They know I've got the camera, look. And this just goes to show. Wow. Well, we've made it to Homer Lake, but not the uh, not the actual lake. This is Homer Lake, the Homer Lake territory. So this is the Lakeside Walk alongside Homer Lake, and this was a project where friends of Homer Lake got funding for to create a new path, but it never happened. Um, but anyways, we come through. Let's uh, have a look. You can see the lake. Well, here we are, lunch break time. Well, not lunch break, it's kind of 
just, just the break. We do have a designated lunch brunch. time. Brunch. Anyway, brunch, yeah, just to uh, refill, re refill the cells, you know what I mean, at Homer Lake. And you can just see if I turn you around, Homer Lake is just there. Wow, well, look who we've just been, look who we've just been, look who we've just been joined by. It's uh, it's Tracy and Edward. What an introduction. Come on, man. We are going to leave the grassy banks of Homer Lake for the grassy sort of bird shit laden path of Maidley Court. We are now en route to our next location, which is over at Maidley Court. Uh, which is, these are two former fishing pools, these are. So we're actually walking at the moment along Brookside Avenue. So sort of Brookside Avenue um, the noise mound, that's where we are, we're walking along there, um, which is the noise mound for the Eastern Primary. This is actually part of the bridle way, which runs from um, Woodside to Nedge Hill, um, and uh, this is basically, will take us straight away over to uh, Maidley Court. So now we're just coming down to the Bridge North Road and this is what's called the Queen Elizabeth Bridge and this is why that it got this when they opened this section up this is why they called it the Queen's Way. So we've just come off the Bridge North Road and we're heading up now just towards the Silkin Way. Um, and when we get over the bridge, I would pretty much class we are actually in Maidley Court. Our next pool is just around the corner now, and that is Maidley Court Pools. Come on, ducks. It, it, it is known that me and Ed love ducks, don't we? We do love them. No, no. And how many ducks can we see? Oh, Ed, look what's coming. Over there. We're near, we're near. 